right? Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. All right, and uh, Lord's willing, I hope that it's edifying to those of the hopeful elect. I want to touch on um, uh, the uh, subject of conditioning of the battle or condition of the battle. All right, condition of the battle. You know, the word condition, which I have here in the Google, it says condition, the state of something with regard to its appearance, quality, or working order. So the condition, you know, us of the hopeful elect, you know, men, starting with the men, down to the few, you know, sisters who do believe, and Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, and I mean truly believe who are in order, okay? Um, it's, yeah, we are, we're all being conditioned by the by Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, okay? We're being conditioned, you know, and the Lord has set up examples for for uh, for, for for His people. He set up examples for His elect by these wicked men. You know, and wicked women out there. You know, we have two thirds as an example. All right. But now we're starting to see those. We're starting to see more examples of those who know that they're Israelites, which is those of the circumcision. All right. And these things you must take heed to and you must consider, you know. This is a mercy call of the Lord. You know, it's a way that you, you get yourself in order when you thought. You maybe you maybe you thought something was okay with that type of behavior and now you're seeing that the Lord is not with that behavior man all right so a lot of uh, men women you know should be learning at this point on on how to conduct themselves in the ways of the Lord because we know that the scriptures say don't be just a hearer of the word but be ye doer of the word and you got a lot of men women who know that they Israelites but they don't walk in the ways of being an Israelite. They just know it, you know? And let me say this, wearing fringes and borders of blue do not make you a man of the Lord, okay? Wearing fringes and border of blue do not make you a man of the Lord. Anybody could wear fringes and border of blue. Esau, if he wanted to, heathens could do it if they wanted to. That don't make them acceptable of the Lord because we know, what the, we know that the border of blue and the fringes represent represents the laws of the Lord so men that are just wearing fringes and border of blue and thinking they're right you out of your mind okay the Lord looks within the inward part of man okay you got to be you got to be blameless from within okay you can't have no 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 malice spirit man okay going on that means wisdom not going to be with you you got to be truthful. You got to be honest. So the condition, it says condition, the state of something with regard to its appearance, quality or working order. It says the circumstances affecting the way in which people live or work, especially with regard to their safety or well-being. And right now we're in a major circumstance. Right now it's a major circumstance of our, the way that we live right now, you know. It says have uh, have a significant influence on or demand or determine the manner of excuse me have a significant influence on or determine the manner or outcome of something. It says bring something into the desired state for use. Now let me get the word conditioning. All right, conditioning with an ing. It says the process of training or accustoming a person or animal to behave in a certain way or to accept certain circumstances. So it says the process of training, right now we're in the process of training, all right, of being Hebrew Israelites. Even though we're Hebrew Israelites by blood, okay, we're, we're you know, if your father, go from, your, from the father's seed, and you, your father's an Israelite, you're an Israelite. But we have customs. We have law, law and order. Right now, we're training to be 
those men and women who are Israelites according to the scriptures. Our people have become degenerates. So right now we're in the process of training to be those Israelites in the scriptures, man. Okay, we are those Israelites in the scriptures, but we're training for the accustomed, you know, the ways that the Lord set us up to be. Because we're we're here to please the Lord, okay? All right, we're here to seek mercy of the Lord. We're here to uh, do the things that the Lord delight in. You can't forget those things. You can't think about yourself. All right, conditioning the process of training or accustoming a person or animal to behave in a certain way. So there's a certain way you have to behave yourself. If you call yourself an Israelite, behave yourself as an Israelite, okay? Which Israelites are not supposed to be ninjas. Which Israelites are not supposed to be harlots. So if you acknowledge that you're an Israelite, you have to walk in the ways of being an Israelite. Accustom accustoming yourself according to the Bible and the ways that we supposed to walk in and you do it to the best of your ability. So that means that the decisions that you make, all right, it's all in line with the scriptures. It's not going outside because another scripture that come in mind is uh, to not uh, bring any offense to the ministry. You're not supposed to bring offense to this ministry, man. You don't want to be those wicked men, okay, that the Lord is going to use to bring persecution upon the ministry. You don't want to be those men. You don't want to be Judas, <laughs> you know. You don't want to be them. But there will be men. There will be those Judas, those men. But you don't want to be those men because you don't want to bring offense to the ministry, all right? You want to be the ones that the Lord used to see salvation, you know, receive spiritual powers for their names written in the book, man. Not the ones the Lord's going to blot out, man. Okay. So anyway, the process of training or accustoming, accustoming a person or animal to behave in a certain way or to accept certain circumstances. And right now we have to accept these circumstances and how we live so scripture that come in mind what man of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness meaning how do we conduct ourselves in a time like this you know and that this also making me think back you know thinking on the law you know we can't um in these circumstances you know having fringes on your t-shirt you know could get you hurt so is it right to have fringes on your t-shirt, you know, everywhere you go? I mean, you can if you like, but is it wise or, or is it foolish? Now, say you go to Walmart with your wife, your children, and you got fringes on and somebody in a parking lot that got a problem with Israelites, they jump out and beat you and your wife and your children up. Was it wise to wear fringes to the Walmart? Let's just say. Or are you going to say, oh, I'm suffering for righteousness, me and my family? How about you're suffering for not using wisdom? You know, not everybody that say, Lord, Lord, all right, is going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh Shah is going to tell certain men that that ye that work iniquity, man. You know, you know that because, you know, what it say? Um, um, matter of fact, let me get that. Matthew 7 21 let me grab that up this is the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 it says not everyone that saith unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven many will say to me in that day Lord Lord okay my phone timed out it says many will say unto me in that day lord lord we have not prophesied in thy name and in thy name excuse me yeah it says many will say unto me in that day lord lord we have not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils 
and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So the Lord is going to say this to these men. And we can see right now, all right, as an example for this time, for this, this prophecy here to come before the, you know, the Yahweh Shah is saying to them, I never knew you, all right, get away from me. You know, you see men that are set up to fit this, to fit, to fit this prophecy, man. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, because these men are working iniquity, all right? You know, you're making merch, you're selling videos, all right, you're making yourself famous, you know, you're using the name of the Lord as and, 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 and being a Hebrew Israelite as a plateau, uh, you know, a, a parachute, you know? Or how can I say this? If I'm saying that right, you're using you're using being an Israelite in the name of the Lord to boost yourself up, you know, in this world to be some sort of celebrity. The most high gonna kill you niggas. Y'all crazy. And I said it just like that. All right, lest ye repent. So anyway, um, let's go back to the word conditioning. So like yeah, I hope I'm not making a longer lesson. I'm trying to strive, make sure the lessons. Okay, so anyway, it says conditioning, the process of training or accustoming a person or an animal to behave in a certain way or to accept certain circumstances. Right now, the circumstances that we're living in, you should be low, you know, living lowly, living a plain, regular life, man, being on the low, you know, not being out there for everyone to see. Now, if you everyone going to see, they're going to see you doing the works, all right, but far as Everything outside of this truth, that's that's your business, man. That ain't for the world to see. You know? You know, just like uh for an example, there is no law where a man, you know, is not he's not allowed to go to a bar or a club. But should you be at a bar and a club at this time? Now, if you want to go get yourself a drink, it's one of those weeks, you know, or whatever. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. But should you be in a club, you know, on a Friday night? A Saturday night, getting all dressed up, shaped up, geared up to go to these clubs, man. Should you be doing that at this time? No. Even though uh, scriptures say there's no law, no sin. All right, and there's no sin of going to the club, but is it is it is it is it right right now to be in those type of spots when the Lord is turning up judgment, man? All right. So it says to accept certain circumstances. We have to be conditioned for the times that's coming. Jacob's trouble. Our minds have to be conditioned. We have to have great faith in these times. We have to truly believe in Yahweh Shai. Because that's our ticket and that's our way out. You have to truly believe, you know. And I say that for myself because we all in this flesh and them demons fuck with your mind, man. But then you got to shake them off. Excuse me. You got to shake them off, man. You know? And you got to believe. You can't count on somebody else's belief to be your belief. You got to believe. So anyway, that's the definition of conditioning. So what I like to do is just read the scripture, read through, and hopefully, you know, uh, it's edifying to those of the whole four elect. So uh, let's see where I start. This is 2nd Edris 16, back in Edris. All right, and uh, I ain't gonna make it too long. I could read through it, uh, but uh, let's let's just get this. Um, yeah, let's read this because this is all the conditioning of the battle. You know, the Lord is setting us up. You know, those of the whole four elect, He's setting you up to be to be able to get through it, and He's setting the mothers up for a great fall. You know. So this is 2nd Edge 16 and 45. And therefore, they that labor, labor in vain. For strangers shall reap their fruit and spoil you their goods, overthrow their houses and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery and more, they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, 
and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sin, saith the Lord. So at a time like this, is this a time to get rich? Is this the time to be a celebrity? The Lord said, the more will I be angry with them for their sins, saith the Lord. Matter of fact, let me read a verse above again. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, you know, these guys, Sakari and them, you know, using the name of the Lord to sell t-shirts, you know, using the name of the Lord to promote guns, you know, and, you know, tote guns and shit, as long as you got a license for it, I guess that's righteous, you know, no, it ain't, you know, anyway, um, music videos, and I'm speaking on them because they the flavor of the week, man, the Lord is on their ass, man, you know, and, um, this is why we got to fear you how about Shemir, how shy, because the Lord can make, you know, if you ain't doing right, the most high can make you a public example, you know, so anyway, it says, and they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, robbery, and more, the more they deck their cities, the more houses they put, the, the more, excuse me, the, uh, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sins, saith the Lord. Now, this is just not for him. You know, this is prophecy. Okay. So it's not just for him, but he's an example. You're going to have many men. Okay, many women seeking to get rich, you know, in a time like this now. They're doing it now. Okay. Even when the Lord bring all this calamity and destruction, these these guys still mindsets are gonna be on I, I need I need some attention. You know, they're gonna want to be famous and shit. They're gonna want to sell merch and get all this money. It says, The more will I be angry with them for their sin, say of the Lord. Now let me say this too for the haters. Okay, for like to screw up my words or anything like that. And nothing wrong with having some change in your pocket or having a business that you may sell. It's nothing wrong with if the Lord have your business to even prosper. But I wouldn't do it in the name of the Lord. And number two, I wouldn't want to seek to be rich. If you're comfortable, you have, you know, whatever the Lord makes comfortable for you. All right, cool. You know, you can pay your bills. But, but hey, you better have faith in the Lord, you know. You better be praying because you can get blindsided having all that money you know your character your attitude starts to change when you get money a lot of money like that and you live a certain lifestyle you people say i will never change no you're gonna change people change just by getting taxes at the beginning of the year ninjas that live in your neighborhood family members they get taxes and that's little bit of change a couple thousands and they change, acting like they shit don't stink. So I can imagine somebody that got uh, vainglory, you know, they on a the stage, they got light on them, <laughs> you know, they got money in their pocket, they they could show you where they living at, what type of cars they, they have in their possession for the moment. Your attitude change, and you start to, hey, you develop pride. You develop pride, nobody could tell you nothing, man. So guess who you pissing off? How about Shimmy How Shy, man? So I, I would rather take the advice that Solomon said and just uh not be rich, not be poor, and being content. You know, give give me food convenient for me. That's better. Especially when the Lord is gonna turn you into a low estate. Why do you want to be so high? Okay, I would rather be here already. You know, and my faith up here. You know. These guys don't think the Lord's coming back. Anyway, it says, the more will I be angry with them for their sin, say of the Lord, like as a whore envious, a righteous and virtuous woman. So shall righteousness hate iniquity when she deck, when she deck of herself, when she deck of herself and shall accuse her to her face when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth. And therefore be ye not like thereunto, nor to the works thereof. For yet a little while, and iniquity shall be taken away out of the earth, and righteousness shall reign among you. And that's when the, uh, you guys that are wicked get in trouble, when righteousness starts to reign. And righteousness is starting to reign now. Okay, it's been reigning because it's, it's done 
uh, turned up Esau to play his hand. So that means the Lord's righteousness through the words of his prophets or through his words through his prophets, the Lord have brought forth, bringing forth prophecy, man. Okay. So it says, let not the sinner say that he have not sinned for Yahweh shall burn coals of fire upon his head which say before Yahweh and his glory, I have not sinned. All right. So you got men that saying they don't, they don't sin. I mean, you ain't got to say, oh, I ain't never said that. But if you saying that you keep all the laws of the Lord, you're lying. Okay. You know, you're lying. You ain't keeping every law. Okay. That's given to the Israelites. You're not keeping every law. You're a liar. All right. You're a liar. So basically what you're saying is you're saying that you're not sinning. So what need of Yahweh shot for you? It says, let not the sinner say that he have not sinned. For Yahweh shall burn coals of fire upon his head, which say before Yahweh and his glory, I have not sinned. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts out of their hearts. Respect but the word, let the earth be made, and it was made. Let the heaven be made, and it was created. And, the, and his word were the stars made, and he knoweth the number of them. He searches the deep and the treasures thereof. He hath measured the sea and what it containeth. He hath shut the sea in the midst of the waters, and with his word hath he hanged the earth upon the waters. He spreadeth out the heavens like a vault, upon the waters hath he found it, and the deserts hath he made springs of water and pools upon the tops of the mountains, that the floods might pour down from the high rocks to water the earth. He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body, and gave him breath, life, and understanding. Yea, the spirit of the almighty Yahweh, which made all things and search about all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Surely he know of the invention, your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. Therefore have the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. All right. And we don't boast that, you know, we don't sin. Okay. We all, all our works is as filthy rags. You know, all of us are in jeopardy of being put to death. You know, we're walking on eggshells with the Lord. We pray that the Lord show mercy unto us, man. And not walking around here being proud, you know. And that rap spirit is a proud spirit, you know, making videos and shit like that. But who am I, man? Right? You know, I just, uh, you know, teaching what I know and the fear that the Lord put upon me to fear him, you know. So I hope this lesson be edifying to those of the whole four elect, you know. Uh, the condition of the battle Alright, condition of the battle The Lord is conditioning us For the battle Right The battles have started The battles when you came into this truth S Sirach, the second chapter He says, my son If thou come to, come to serve the Lord <clears throat> Prepare thy soul for temptation Set thy heart aright Constantly endure Make not haste in a time of trouble Cleave unto him, you know. So, the battle, the real war, is gonna happen when Jacob's trouble, when your life is on the line. I mean, our lives are on the line now, but you know, and that day when it's no food, when you really have to have faith, like you really have to have faith. There's no phones, you know. They talking about cyber attacks. The uh, this guy, guy Kyle Schlob, you know, he's basically putting fear out there and saying. What you know, the cyber attack can 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 do worse than what you know the pandemic done did, you know. So they talking about lights out, you know, the supply chain stopped, you know, it's gonna be a famine of food and water. You got the truckers out there, you know, all coming together, trying to uh, get some sort of justice against this government. But guess what? Everything is in the hands of the Most High. And Yahweh Shai. So the will of the Father and the Son is going to be done, man. All right? The, the will of the Father is going to be done. All right? Here on earth as it is written. So, you know, with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash, double honest to my apostles. 
and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.